Strange movements beneath Yellowstone. Is Steamboat Geyser the first sign? Deep beneath the vast wilderness of Yellowstone National Park, scientists have made a discovery that has sent ripples through the global geological community. Using advanced seismic imaging and satellite radar data, researchers have detected something unexpected, a shifting mass of magma moving through the chamber beneath Yellowstone's caldera. At first, the data appeared routine, minor tremors, subtle ground deformation, and the typical breathing of the supervolcano's underground system. But as the weeks passed, instruments began picking up anomalies that could not be easily dismissed. A hidden movement below. A research team from the US Geological Survey, USGS, in collaboration with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, recently analyzed INSAR, satellite radar interferometry, data showing unusual uplift near the Norris Geyser, basin, the same area where the powerful steamboat geyser erupts. Ground had risen nearly four centimeters in just six months, twice the usual rate. Alongside that uplift, Seismometers detected a strange sequence of micro-earthquakes occurring 5 to 10 kilometers beneath the surface. These quakes were long-period events, meaning they vibrated at lower frequencies, typically associated with the movement of magma or pressurized fluids rather than brittle rock breaking. When the seismic waves were analyzed, they revealed an unexpected pattern a slow, pulsing movement within the magma chamber. Scientists described it as if the magma itself was breathing, surging upward and then retreating again, a behavior not seen since the last major unrest period in the early 2010s. One geophysicist, Dr. Lena Porter from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, remarked, what we're seeing is different from ordinary gas movement. It's as if the magma is migrating, trying to find a pathway. It's not an eruption signal, but it's definitely a sign that something deep below is changing. The Mysterious Magma Cap The discovery became even more intriguing when imaging revealed what appears to be a newly thickened layer of partially molten rock, a magma. Capic is forming between the deeper reservoir and the shallow crust. This cap seems to act as both a lid and a pressure trap. Beneath it, gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor are accumulating faster than normal. It's a delicate system. Too much trapped gas and pressure can build dramatically. Too little, and the system cools and stabilizes. The magma cap discovery was both reassuring and unsettling. On one hand, it showed the system was venting heat efficiently. On the other, it hinted that a larger volume of molten material was now sitting closer to the surface than previously thought. For volcanologists, it was a scientific mystery, one that could redefine how we understand supervolcano behavior before major eruptions. A curious connection. Steamboat geyser. At the surface, the world's tallest active geyser, steamboat geyser, began drawing renewed attention. Over the past decade, its eruptions have become unusually frequent, sometimes occurring every few days, then suddenly falling silent for months. Now with the magma chamber stirring, researchers wondered,
could Steamboat's erratic behavior be connected to the deep movements below? In early 2025, Steamboat erupted again, violently even by its own standards. A jet of scalding water and steam shot nearly 330 feet into the air, drenching nearby walkways and coating trees with minerals. The eruption lasted over 30 minutes. What stunned scientists, however, was what followed. The surrounding ground temperature rose slightly, and several smaller thermal vents appeared nearby, as if the subsurface system had been forced open. Dr. Porter noted, every time the geyser erupts, it relieves some pressure from the system. But this time, the behavior of the surrounding area changed. We saw shifts in thermal activity that we can't yet explain. Is it a warning sign? The big question quickly surfaced. Could Steamboat's extreme activity be one of the warning signs of deeper magmatic unrest? Some scientists cautioned against jumping to conclusions. Historically, geyser activity in Yellowstone has fluctuated dramatically without leading to volcanic eruptions. Hydrothermal systems are influenced by shallow factors, groundwater levels, pressure changes, and even seasonal snowmelt. But others weren't so sure. The synchronization of magma movement, uplift, gas emissions, and heightened geyser activity seemed too coincidental. Dr. Miguel Hernandez, a volcanologist from the University of Washington, explained, think of it like a pressure valve system. If magma is moving upward, gases will try to escape through the easiest route. And in Yellowstone, that's the geysers. The steamboat eruptions could be acting as nature's own safety mechanism. Signs from the surface. By mid-year, field instruments began detecting increased emissions of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide near Norris Basin, gases often associated with magmatic degassing. That night, thermal cameras showed small glowing areas near steamboats' runoff channels, hinting at rising heat flux. Meanwhile, Seismic sensors continued to record hundreds of small quakes per week, many of them clustered directly under steamboat. Some lasted for minutes, echoing deep within the crust like rumbling waves, 